Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with Home Chef Mary. I am competing for the Blackstone Award. It's with the Griddle Crew. Uh, they have a competition going out. And one of the one of the um, options is breakfast. So we're doing breakfast this morning. I plan on doing the ethnic one too, you know, because I got to do some Mexican food. So. For today, we're doing the prep inside. I'm almost done prepping, but I wanted to show you what I was doing before we went outside. Um, we're gonna make bacon and sausage on the Blackstone. I'm making some blueberry. I've got buttermilk pancakes, banana buttermilk pancakes with crispy bacon. And I'm also gonna sprinkle some blueberries on top before I flip it over when I make it on the grill. We've got some French fries I had in the freezer. I'm gonna make some home fries with. We got a big old bowl of diced onions because I'm also gonna do a cheesy omelet with um, some sausage that was prepared the other day. I don't want it to go to waste. So we're gonna do the onions, the potatoes, the sausage, bacon, the omelet, and the pancakes. Cook it on the Blackstone. So I'm gonna just say hello, and next time you'll see me, we'll be outside with all the stuff. Looking forward to it. Keep it off the chain. Oh, by the way, I don't have my off the chain t-shirt on, but I do have my, my new pretty pink um, Outer Bakes t-shirt. We were at the beach a couple weeks ago. It feels like forever ago. Why would you come back and go, oh, the same. <laughs> anyway, looking forward to our final product. I'll be back. Okay, here we are outside on the deck. So first I have to say a disclaimer and oops. So we're jamming out on the deck. We've got a big old speaker and 80s rock was playing. We were singing. And I tried to upload uh, the link onto Facebook for the YouTube video. And well, wouldn't you know, you click on the link and... Yeah, copyright. <laughs> so thank you, Leland, for your help. Okay, I've got the onions on. Um, the onions are going to be half used for the French fry, home fries, as well as the omelet that I'm going to make with the cheesy eggs and the sausage breakfast that's already made. So at this point, we've got the onions going, and pretty soon Bob's going to say, Hey, where's the bacon? And then I go, Oh, oops. Oh, there's the potatoes. Of course, season as you go, salt, pepper... I use some oregano seasoning every now and then that I like. Not oregano, I'm sorry, Mediterranean seasoning. And still the onions, still the onions. I was back there giving me a hard time about the, the grill, the, the heat of it. So there's the bacon getting started. And there's some sausage there too. And he's starting to say, now who's going to eat all this food? Like he has a problem. <laughs> Okay, we're back. Somehow, through my lack of editing experience, experience, I didn't show you the omelet process. Oh well, it was a mess. <laughs> it was really difficult. Those of you who make it look easy. So here's some pancakes. Remember these are the banana, blueberry, buttermilk um, pancakes. There's mashed bananas. There's, I use cake flour instead of all-purpose flour. Bacon bits in there that I crisp up. The banana really tastes good. The fresh blueberries on top. The two pancakes that are already flipped over, those don't have the bacon inside because Bob's like, what? So, anyway, those are his. And a good amount of blueberries. You really don't want to fold those in or mix those in because your, your pancake batter will turn blue. And they sure are pretty. I do actually really like making the pancakes on the black stove. And my dad gave me that apron. We still have plans to get the food truck hopefully within three to six months the southwest outlaws okay his pancakes are done and he's like can I eat them he, he, he's so impatient pretty soon they're gonna flip I think what I'm telling you is I'm going to serve all of this on my cutting board it looks really pretty in the end heat up that Maple syrup and man, careful, careful, get a hot, hot pad holder because that, that gets hot. That handle gets hot. <laughs> okay, now the finale. It's time for the tasting. I gave Bob the camera and got these last two pancakes ready. And on my serving platter is my cutting board. See that syrup over there? It's nice and warm. So we got the blueberry pancakes. Pretty color on them, huh? The sausages, those are maple too, you know, send Bob to the store and he comes back with different stuff than I buy, but that's alright. 
And man, wouldn't you know, when I made that omelet, I forgot to put the onions inside of it, so I just garnished them on top and put some cheese on the potatoes. And Now we're tasting, tasting, I think. I'm not sure if those are the eggs or the potatoes. I think it's the eggs. No, no those are the potatoes. The eggs are in the back. Now I'm tasting the eggs. It was good. It was good. I think I do prefer an omelet inside in the small pan. But it was good. It was fun, too. And now I'm going to taste the bacon. Bob's already eaten, and he told me how good the bacon is. And watch. Oh, my God. <laughs> I said the bacon is good. <laughs> he said, I told you so. Now the pancakes. I can't eat very much, very many pancakes. I really can't eat a whole lot of carbs. I, I get kind of sick. But I'm going to have a couple bites. Dip it in the hot syrup. Bob mentioned that he didn't even need syrup because the blueberries were so sweet. And those blueberries, actually, I did have them in the freezer. They were one time fresh, but I didn't want to lose them. So, oh, there's the pancake. Look. Okay, guys, you got to make these pancakes. <laughs> I did write out the recipe. It'll it'll be underneath the, the YouTube. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, I really liked it. And then. At one point, I get a little cocky. At the very end, I said, winner. This has got to be the winner. <laughs> the category breakfast. This is the breakfast feast for a Blackstone King. That's what we did. Take some more bites. Mm -hmm. It's hot out there. I've got a fan blowing on me from the door. My cute Outer Banks t-shirt. There's our over showing off the Oklahoma Joe because we're getting ready to smoke some pork butt that I had sous vide first. I'm going to throw it in the smoker for three or four hours. That's what's for dinner tonight. Shredded barbecue pork. That's it, guys. Keep it off the chain. Have fun. See you soon.